Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, uh, so in this video I'm going to um, show you how we can analyze the, uh, to find out the refractive index of uh, uh, liquids uh, by measuring the uh, incident angle and the refracted angle Okay, so let's look to the typical experimental setup uh, Usually we will have a inter um, um, medium of interest for example you have water and then light coming from air refracted here so you have a first angle which is measured from normal and then you have refracted angle measured from normal also and the light go uh, travel in the medium and find the second interface so you have incident angle now is theta uh, uh, in this case water and it's refracted away from the normal at theta a uh, okay so first uh, you have to recognize that uh, we have two medium we have air which is na refractive index na refractive index uh, of the liquid which, uh, which is here is water and then we have air again so uh, if you use a uh, snell's law we have to uh, focus only one of them so in this case, uh, theta A and theta w, uh, w and theta W and theta A. This is a pair of angles. Alright, so um, our target here is to find out what is NW, which is the refractive index of, of this water. This is the refractive index of air. The uh, refractive index of air is, uh, we take S equal to 1. Okay, uh, equal to 1. So we want to know this uh, NW. Okay, so our target is we want to have a graph of sine theta in water over sine theta in the air. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Alright, so uh, again, let's look. You are, you are uh, fixing values of theta A and then you will measure theta W. So that means theta A should be on x exists this is an independent variable this is a dependent variable okay then uh, let's look uh, a example of data set you have the angle in the in air you measure uh, you fix this value uh, and then you measure this value in water all right so repeat by three times or more is better but if you have three times, let's make it average. Alright, so let's uh, calculate the average of this value. This is average. Oh, sorry. sorry, average. So we click here. And then select all of this value. And we uh, close the bracket. Enter. Okay, and then you drag this button. Go down. You have this angle. Okay, so this is the average of these three values. Uh, this is not a good um, um, format, so let's uh, make it better. Uh, this is also 23, it's not good. You have to put 0. This is 10 also. Okay, so how to change to make sure they are, they have the same uh, decimal point? Just put it, click here, increase. So, or decrease. Now they have the same similar um, a decimal point. I mean, uh, a standard decimal point. Okay. And then this one, okay. And then this one, let is uh, decrease. So they have the same uh, standardized um, figure, significant figure. Okay. So now we have theta A and we have theta W. Okay. Uh, so uh, to find out the <coughs> Refractive index, we have to uh, we have to plot sine theta w over sine theta uh, a. Okay, so um, uh, actually, why we need to um, have a theta w over theta a? Let's look again to the relation here. This is the Snell's law, and a sine theta a equal to n w sine theta w. If we switch it them, just the same thing. We have N W sin theta W and A sin theta A. Okay, since uh, we are fixing theta A, uh, but we may um, we measure theta W, so we 
make uh, some manipulation, mathematical manipulation, you will have this like this. All right. And then um, if we make a graph of this, uh, this theta uh, W over sine theta A, we actually make equivalence to a linear equation Y equal to MX plus C. Okay, so that means in Y exists, you have sine theta W. In X exists, you have sine theta A. If you set C equal to 0, the M, the slope of the graph will be equal to NA over NW. So the slope, you will have this value. So now uh, from the graph that we will try to obtain, we will find out the slope and we will have the value of NW uh, given NA equal to 1. So that's why we need to uh, plot a graph of sine theta W over sine theta A. Okay, uh, alright, so let's uh, back to our uh, calculation here. Okay, so to calculate sine theta A, uh, we can um, actually in Excel, uh, it can only um, calculate in radian. So, uh, so we have to change, to, you can make it uh, by your calculator, it's okay. But if you want to do a uh, calculation using the Excel, you have to convert those every, uh, those data in the way to radian. So, radians, so it will convert this, val uh, this value to radian. Okay, so if you drag this one, so actually this is the radian of this value. So, this is the radian of this value. Uh, okay, I reduce the decimal point. This and this is radians. I change radians. So click this and select this average. Okay, so uh, all right. So we have this value and I decrease. So what I did uh, was this. Uh, I change the this value to radian. And this value to radian because I want to calculate the sine. So sine of the sine of this radian. Okay. So I uh, just calculated the sine of this in radian mode. Okay, and I decrease the value by the decimal point. Similar thing to here, sine sine the this radian and so, alright, so now I finish getting this. Okay, you can also do by your calculation. Uh, so, make sure uh, by, for Excel, it, it can only calculate uh, using radian mode. Okay, so you have to check by your calculator again. Okay, let's uh, make a graph. So, I have this x exists and this is y exists. So, I have uh, noted this x as y. Okay, so let's insert graph this okay now i have a nice uh, straight line uh, linear equation uh, linear graph okay let's uh, make a fitting uh, at trend line because this is linear so let's just linear okay display equation okay but now uh, we have to set equal c equal to zero because uh, sine zero is equal to zero right sine sine theta zero uh, is equal to zero uh, and sine theta w. If the if if your incident angle is zero, your refracted angle is also zero. Sine zero and sine zero, so you have zero. So it should be zero started from zero. Okay, and now you have this equation. Um, so make it bigger. Okay, so what you have here is the rela linear relation between sine theta w and sine theta a. Okay, so um. After making uh, nice of this graph, finally you will get this uh, graph, this nice graph. Okay, you have this 0 0.7565. So remember again from our uh, my explanation before, this is the slope of the graph. So this slope, this is what we want, 0 0.7465. Okay, so uh, we take this equation back, put it here. Okay, you see that uh, our slope is 7, 0 0.7565. So our slope is 0 0.7565. And then our Na is the refractive index of water. Uh, A is 1. So by then you have 1.34. So in a refractive index, you don't have a unit. 
effective index is just a value. If you put in the units, it will be wrong. Okay. Uh, also, if you go to this um, um, uh, graph, sine theta, it has no value. Okay. So, in this case, this is degree, degree. This is radian, radian. But sine that angle is, it has no unit. Okay, it has unit. So, this is no unit, no units. Okay. So uh, that's mean from this graph actually we want to have a uh, uh, we want to have this slope because this slope give the value of effective index inside it. So what would be the problem uh, if you don't get as uh, other than that value? So the acceptable value is maybe one, uh, around one point one to one point five. Being above or negative would be where it's a, it's a impossible, right? So it must be positive value. So, uh, the value of refract uh, that you get must be between 1.1 to 1.5. Uh, other than that, there must be some problem with your measurement or your calculation. So, let's look what kind of the uh, cons uh, of measurement concern that we have to take care. So, first, if you are using the, uh, you, uh, if you are uh, using um, uh, container, so make sure those container is very thin, okay? So very thin in this uh, area because if it's very if the wall is thick, uh, the refract there there must be there must be a uh, influence. Uh, it will affect the measurement. Okay, if this must be very thin because we want to uh, find out the refractive index of the water, not the wall itself. Okay, so uh, next is you have to make sure that you have to read it very carefully. Because uh, because the angle is very uh, very small angle difference, so read it correctly, okay. So your eyes and your um, angle or your ruler must be very precise, and then uh, you have to also make sure what angles are you measuring. For example, here this is you have to measure from the normal not from the interface you have to measure from normal so measure the correct angle next concern is that uh if uh, uh when you are doing calculation using your calculator make sure your calculator is which mode in which mode is it radian or degree so make sure that okay so that's all for this um analysis um so i hope that you can uh get the nice result. Okay, bye.